It's your boy DJ IV. You're tuned in to Potato Salad Radio. How long have you been with Earth now? That's fairly recent, right? That's very recent. Yeah, it's actually just Talk happened. about that, though. But I feel like that's a big push. That's a, like a big thing for you. Well, yeah, considering that I done, I've done everything uh, independently up to this point. Uh, I've just, you know, manually handled everything distribution-wise, promotion-wise. And now I, uh, I put my trust into Herbnet. And uh, the reason why that happened is I went to an extremities show in Moncton at Snafu Pub, which is one of the better dive bars in Moncton. And um, you can, uh, and I, I got to see my homie uh, Fresh Kills. You know, yes, the yes. Kill Zone is was the temple for us. And it, was, it was an entire era of of my rap recording exists there. About 116 songs I recorded at the Kill Zone wow. with uh, Fresh Kills. Wow! And um, and I saw him there, and he's like, he li- he was staying with Sean One in Fredericton before he came to Moncton, and Sean One played him the album, and he's like, dude, you gotta let me send this to my buddy Daryl at, at Herbnet and have him listen to it because uh, I think that he's going to really like it. And He sent it. He liked it. He hit me up. And, you know, it got delayed. It was supposed to come out end of summer. It didn't. It ended up coming around Christmas. But it, it was cool because I got to do my release party in Toronto, right, my hometown. Right, right. So... It was, it was dope. Yeah. For a lot of young, like a lot of people coming into the game, there's sort of that whole big, sh- there's been a big shift where it's like, you know, independent is sort of where a lot of people want to be because they don't want any of the constraints or anything. For a guy like you who's done independent for quite a while, why, I mean, is that is, is that what it is for you, is just taking the weight off your shoulders of having to do all the stuff other than rapping? Absolutely. I think that... Uh, it's an interesting perspective because yeah. you hear a lot of the younger guys like, man, I do my grind and all this. But I think at some point it does make sense if you can partner with the right people. It's got to be the right people, the right deal. But uh, you got to look at that, that new paperwork and make sure everything's the way you want it to be. But Regardless of what people have said about shows. me since I started rapping, the one thing that everybody's always given me praise for is is my grind. Yeah. They always say, one of the hardest it's working evident. MCs, blah, blah, blah. Yep. And, and you know what? It takes its toll. I did it since 2007. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's 2016, and... I, I feel like my energy is better used just writing, performing, and I feel like I when I did my new performance with just my blue collar material, none of my old stuff anymore. Yeah. I felt like it was it was great, and I, I felt like you know I don't I don't have to email a, a hundred different people in order to get someone to listen to my stuff. Now I got this these guys behind me. They're right, respected, right. and they're taking care of business because that's what they do. They're they're in the business. Right. I'm not you know like I. I wish that I could be more business minded, but I feel like on the creative side, I can't allow myself to be sucked into that, right. uh, you know, too much. I need, I like, I'm, I'm practical, you know, I know I understand like a hoodie's 30 bucks and yeah, it yeah, took yeah, 10 yeah. bucks and stuff like that. But you know what? At the same time, I got to stay grounded in my raps and, and what I'm really speaking about. So I know there's guys who can wear both hats and, and I have for a while, but right now I'm letting somebody else wear the hat. I think that is an incredibly uh, mature and, and, and seasoned opinion. I think that grind time is also a young man's game. It is. I mean, it is. There's a time, like, reality is time catches up with you in some ways. But also, I don't think you entered the rap game to be the best businessman ever. You entered the rap game to be the best rapper ever. Or to be, you know, the best rapper you can be ever. Right? So, I mean, if you want to just be the best businessman, stop rapping. (laughs) Just be business. I think if you can find the right people and look at that paper, it's good. Then It's really good. I think that the idea of signing with people and all this has sort of become this real binary of like independent versus big label. It's like, hold on a second. Hold on a second. If you structure it right, it's good. And it takes the weight and let you be what you are really good at, which is being a rapper. And that's not everybody. These guys are good at that other aspect. Let them do it. And it's it's not just like my decision as well. Like there's a lot of artists who don't have an opportunity to sign with sure. somebody like Herbnet. And you know it's it's a blessing to be able to have that opportunity because there's a ton of indie rap labels in the states. And and there's you know Herbnet is the premier one here in Canada. And True. they they're not signing just everybody with a mixtape you know it's a, there's they have a quality control they have a criteria and i Big feel time. like the fact that i was able to uh, you know exceed their expectations so that they were willing to give me a chance i think from now on they're going to see nothing but uh, be- bigger and better uh, projects from me